Overnight, the slow-moving Hurricane Sally grinding toward shore, slamming the Gulf with heavy rains, potentially devastating flooding. Hope for the best, and that's all we can do. Sally's strong winds tearing down power lines, plunging residents into darkness, flooding homes and roadways, are concerning officials. We are anticipating. Every day I'm hustling. Look at this. The red lights don't work because the hurricane didn't happen. There's no red lights in my town at all because the hurricane never happened. Got to treat it like a four-way stop. This happened. Except all the way, that's what happens when you don't have tie down lane trailer. That's why we kept hearing all the noise and stuff. And it was rushing over, and you could feel the trailer shaking. That's the Nina. Is that the Nina? Yeah, I'm almost certain that's what that is. I would feel like, wouldn't they have that, like. Watch your step when you get right here. All right. We're shot, uh, assessing hurricane footage. Oh, look at all that garbage down there. Yeah, this is this is not normal. I'm gonna try to walk over toward that dock and try to get another shot from the other angle. That's the Nina. It's, I think it's just a replica. It's not the original Nina Pinta Santa Maria. I forgot what they were they were doing something. They had it here for a reason. I think it was they do promotional little tours around the you know, around America with the right. ship and they it docks and sits there. The wrong week to do it. Yeah, it's a nice ship though. It's amazing. You would think the Nina Pinta and the Santa Maria would have been bigger boats, wouldn't you think that? I would think that's that. not that huge. I mean, it's really. But you know, people were smaller back then. Yeah. Yeah, all that water came up in here, and I think it just. No telling how high that water was. Not... Go around the, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna go around the other side and get some more footage. I like that rope. I can make stuff with that rope. Crew only is that what that sign says, but we're not going on the dock. I just wanted videos of, the, of how it pulled up the dock. Of course, we weren't over here to see originally how it was connected. There's a bunch of the railing down there too. At least that's one thing, like after you lose, you know, you lose power and it takes them a while to get the power back on, you know, it, it really, people get out there and we, we clean up after these yeah. storms so quickly. I mean, you wouldn't believe. Uh, yeah, see, it says it on it, babe. Oh, cool. The Nina replica. Yeah, I'm just getting video of it all beached up here on the ground.
wonder, what did we get ourselves into? Well, when we got up the next morning, we started driving around. There was literally yachts in front of yards, sailboats in trees. The Port Royal and all downtown was completely hammered. And a good flyover of Pensacola will show you just exactly what the mess looked like. Well, when we started seeing that people were posting that there was these barges on the loose, none of us quite understood. What is everybody talking about? A bar? Buddy's yard. Look at this. Washed up from over there. All the way from the Three Mile Bridge. This is the same type of barge that took out the Three Mile Bridge, the Carson Point Bridge, the DNAS Bridge, and almost took out the I-10 Bridge. That is nuts. Can't believe they let that happen. Right here in the neighborhood. See, look, here's the map of all the barges that got loose from the bridge. There's like 22 of them all together. This is in the Pensacola News Journal. And this is the Three Mile Bridge. And they all got loose from right here, and they just scattered all over the place. If you live over here and you just want to get to downtown Pensacola, that's a no-go. No you got to go all the way around. And this bridge got hit, too. But it was structurally still sound. This one completely totaled. And then this one was going to get hit, and they had to, they were going to blow up one of these barges. Check this out. Here's the barge. It's the one that hit the other bridge. It had been hit, and it was word that the sheriff was going to blow up the other barges headed to the I-10 bridge. I mean, like, with straight up, the Air Force was going to do this. This is what the word on the street was. Emergency here in Pensacola. The parking lot that I'm in is basically a makeshift swimming pool at this point. It might be hard to see. There is a dumpster over my shoulder down there that was not here earlier this morning. The flood water strong enough. They actually pulled in a multiple ton dumpster with cars, water right now above the wheel well, approaching the door handles. Look at this. A couple feet of water below me. And guys, we are looking at potentially 12 more hours of torrential rain putting lives at risk across the region. Okay, this is a local news article showing power outages in northwest Florida from September the 16th of all the counties affected Escambia 127,000, Santa Rosa 32,000, Opelousa 9,000, Walton so at one time I seen closer to 140,000 when I first started paying attention to the power outages because it was hard to get any information so you couldn't watch the news, couldn't get gas couldn't use an ATM ATM machine, couldn't use debit cards. So it was a long struggle from the 3 p.m. Thursday till now, the September the 16th. And today is now the 26th. And this is from the 19th. Gulf Power has restored nearly 45,000 people's power, which is really quick because the past few, I've been, I mean, it was two to three weeks before they got anywhere close to this number. <laughs> I, I mean, I think I lived, I had no power for like three weeks straight. I'll try to remember to leave links down and below for this, or for these articles.
restored. Okaloosa County should be fully restored tonight. Channel 3's Daniela Polnar joins us live with the challenges crews are facing. A lot of you are still waiting to turn these, your generators off, and switch your light switches on. And hopefully that'll be very soon. We've just now learned that about 65 of impacted customers have gotten their power back. Despite what was said in a previous statement from Gold Power, asserting crews were working from east to west, Gatewood assures crews were scattered throughout all impacted counties in northwest Florida. A restoration team of 7,000 with 6,000 coming from around the country are running into some hurdles, though. Localized flooding. So for some areas that are flooded, particularly where our infrastructure is underground, until flooding recedes and it's safe for our crews to get in there, it's hard for them to start work or really uh, do evaluations to understand the damage. So that's the other place where we might have challenges in restoration as well. She also says traffic is causing issues as well between the closed roads due to flooding and people out driving, which is preventing their trucks from getting to their sites quickly. Now, as of 9.54 tonight, about 82,000 customers in Escambia County remained without power and about 18,000 in Santa Rosa County. I'm Danielle Polinar reporting live. Okay, guys, this is Christina Randall's uh, backup channel, Casually Christina. She has half a million subs. Um, yeah, she's a uh, power went out for her, too. This is less than five miles from my house where she lives. She, Her whole documentary on the uh, whole storm is a good one to watch. And she, uh, she documents the, the entire thing, the flooding in her backyard, the power outages. You know, and, and the problems she had to deal with. There's going to be so much damage. Yeah, her power's out, too. I was live streaming, and the power went out on mine. Her and her son are sitting in the hallway in the dark, just in case a tornado comes. He's so, laughing now, but he's not Check out Casually Christina's video. When our son comes out, we ain't got no AC, baby. <laughs> no AC. Sweating. Uh, and it's, oh, it's not even focused storm we weren't prepared for because the, the storm just sat in the Gulf sitting and spinning and just dumped rain and wind on us and knocked all the power out for the entire town and everything else and this is Lance 30 acre this guy who does Jeffy's voice on the Jeffy videos from SML and he talks about he's going they live here too the, the other side of me another five miles in the other direction they live and they uh oh, sweet. What's this up, guys? I'm going to go ahead and just make this as quick as possible because I don't know how much longer I'm going to have signal for. Uh, the hurricane knocked out the power at my house. The power is still on at Logan's house, but the internet is in and out. Yeah, um, Cox, so, this is from um, September 17th. Apologizing now for so the they were bad having problems with quality, the, situ the is bad. situation as also, well. Also, I'm apologizing for the bad uh, so he did his quick. That's bad, too. This is literally cell phone he did YouTube quick. story post, but I felt like... You guys, um, he just did his quick live stream. Imagine trying to go to the bathroom in the dark. <laughs> yeah, this guy who does yeah, Jeffy. I've never seen, like, there should be something they live here too. Place to prevent that. But Not far from my house. But that's another update another YouTuber had about losing power and internet and the problems that we were facing. So a lot of us had a lot of lot to to deal with. We had we were struggling. <laughs> we were struggling.